It's the morning of January 29, 2022. It's dark, it's cold, but in Clewiston, Florida, USSC number 148 hopes to warm things up a bit. That's right, we're back in America's sweetest town, filming the one and only 148 in action. Today's event, the first ever Trains Magazine photo charter and photo shoot. Nearly minutes after I arrived at 6.30 a.m., they already had 148 fired up and moving, preparing to hook on to the day's consist. Today's consist would actually be a first for 148, where it'd be pulling sugarcane cars and the passenger consist together. Something new for 148 today is its whistle. Today, for the charter only, 148 is sporting a Pennsylvania Railroad 3 chime, and it has a much deeper tone than the CB and Q5 chime 148 normally carries. Departure today was scheduled for 7.30 a.m., and the train be heading down the Okilanta Branch, which is a rarely used SCFE line that heads down to the Okilanta Sugar Mill. With departure approaching, we move to Francisco Street to catch 148, making its first crossing sequence. <laughs> Next up was the crossing at Davidson Road, and here you can see why I enjoyed it being so cold today. The plumes that 148 was putting up during these sequences were amazing. throttle and get up to speed. Here's the train passing Evercane Road as they head towards the first photo shoot location of the day.
at Rogers Road, Trains Magazine chose this place to be the first location for photo run-bys. It just happened to be really nice for us as we were only able to chase the train this far before they disappeared into the Oki Lanta branch. <laughs> After all the Trains Magazine guests got off the train, everyone sat up along their spots and 148 began reversing to start the first of four runbys. I'm not going to narrate each runby because they're all the same train, but I did put the camera at different locations for each runby. So I hope you enjoy! <laughs>
After the fourth run by, the train backed down to the inaccessible diamond, where the actual train's magazine charter did two photo shoot run bys. Afterwards, everyone loaded up, and 148 steamed towards the Okulana sugar mill, going at nearly full track speed. Since we knew 148 wouldn't be back for a while, we decided to catch some of the regular USSC and SCFE jobs. The first one being Bryant turn number one with GP40506. Right behind them was cane job number 4, with GP11 number 303, also sporting a very nice P5. About two hours later, Kane Job 4 returned, with 303 now leading short hood forward. After finding out 148 was coming back to get water for its final run bys, we raced over to Rogers Road to get the train passing.
However, after 148 God's last photo run by is done, dispatch ordered two cane trains to get by. The first was Bryant Turn 1 returning with 85 loads of fresh sugar cane. The second train being cane job number 5, with GP11303 leading once again. Finally, after a long day, 148 returns from the cane fields with a group of satisfied photographers, ending our chase and their trip on this fantastic winter day. photo charter with USSC 148. I look forward to filming the engine again in April for the big private car charter. And until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.